to today's session. So we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. And our question of interest today is in question 11, which is a question on transformation. The question leads, answer the whole of this question on a sheet of graph paper. The vertices of a triangle ABC are A, negative 3, comma, negative 3, B, negative 1, comma, negative 3, C, negative 3, comma, negative 1. Question A, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent one unit on both axes, draw X and Y axes for X is such that is greater than or equal to negative 6 but less than or equal to 8 and Y is such that is greater or equal to negative 4 but less or equal to 8. Draw and label triangle ABC. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to understand that the measurement, this one unit on a graph paper is one centimeter. So this two is two centimeters. So there are those that have got two centimeter uh, square box. But what will be provided with it will have dimensions in the exams. So they'll give you mostly the standard. So make sure to follow the instruction. So what this tells us is one unit for every one unit is one box. So if you see it is one comma one. So it's a square one comma one there. Okay, so let us answer question A then, having understood that. So we have negative 3 comma negative 3. So negative 3 comma negative 3 is here. This is point A. Then we have negative 1 comma negative 3. Negative 1 comma negative 3 is uh, this point, And this is point B. Okay, then we have negative 3 comma negative 1. Negative 3 comma which is this one, and this is point C. So after having done that, we can join these lines and draw this triangle ABC. So using a ruler, you draw a very straight line. Okay, so you have this first triangle, which we, we are interested in. Okay, so that's the triangle A. Okay, the first triangle without it, transformation. So this is B. Then having done that, Make sure that you label this is y axis and you label this one to be x axis collectively. Once you do that, then you get that beautiful one mark. Then B, an enlargement with center O, so the center O, and the scale factor of negative 2 maps triangle ABC onto triangle A1, B1, C1. Draw and label triangle A1, B1, and C1. So once the mapping the, ma the factor which maps is a negative. It means you are moving to the opposite quadrant. So you are moving from this quadrant to this quadrant. If it was this quadrant to this quadrant, because it's a mirror, mirroring because of that negative. Negative, it means we are changing the quadrant. You are moving to the opposite of, if it was positive, we are in the same one, but moving uh, far away from the origin by that factor. So this one is a negative with a mirror less also moving twice. So what we do is we multiply all the points by negative 2. So when we multiply all this by negative 2, we get a positive 6, comma positive 6 as A. So I'll use the different color. So positive 6, so 6, comma 6. That's what it becomes. This is A1. Then we have next is negative 2, comma. Uh, we multiply by negative 2, comma, multiply by that. We are getting positive 2, uh, positive 6. So it's 2 comma 6. So 2 comma 6. So 2x then 6y. So you see this point and this point is what becomes b1. Then we have uh, uh, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 comma negative 1 we get 6 comma positive 2 which is basically this point. 6 comma 2. This is c1. So sorry, this is the, at the long point, supposed to be at this point, which is A1, which is 6, 6. Then we join this. When we join this, we get this beautiful triangle, which has expanded. So what you notice is, uh, in terms of mirroring, B is mirroring this side. So if you see, it's passing through the origin like that. Similarly, C is passing through the origin like that. You see, that's how they are matching. Similarly, A like that. 
So that's what is happening. So once you draw that and you can use your your, your pencil to connect this dotted line to, to show the, the, the transformation, then you will get those beautiful uh, this beautiful two marks for free, which is you are standing at three out of twelve. Then let us go to C. Triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A1 or A2, B2, C2 with vertices 3, comma, negative 3. So 3, comma, negative 3. So it's a positive 3, comma, negative 3. So it's we are somewhere here. And this is uh, basically the A. Then we have 3, comma, negative 1, 3, comma, negative 1, which is basically this one. And this is our B, this is our B2, this is our A2. Then we have C, which is 1, comma, negative 3. 1, comma, negative 3, which is basically this one. And this is C, which is C2. Then when you join that, we get this beautiful triangle. Okay, so when you're using a ruler, you get a more straight line. Just sketching for you just to get the, the principles. Okay, so once you do that, what you end up basically is that. So when, once you do that, the question says draw and label this triangle. So label that, so we get that free one mark. Then describe fully this single transformation. So now what you notice is, for last, you notice that B is here, but it's this side. Then C is here, then it's this side. So what you notice specifically, this cannot be a reflection along the y-axis. Because if it was a reflection, if this is B, B should have been here. Then it was going to be reflection along the x-axis. So there is something other which is happening. So let us try to connect these centers to the, these lines to the center or 0 comma 0 so c here then we bring down here this line is meeting at this is 90 degrees then similarly if we connect b to the origin then to b we get again this is 90 degrees then similarly if you connect c connect a to the origin then we bring is 90 degrees so this one tells us that there is transformation which is happening and this transformation is related to the to the uh, basically the center so what is happening there so what is happening basically is a transformation the transformation that is taking place is a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise so it's 90 degrees clockwise so it's from here to here 90 degrees clockwise okay at the center 0 comma 0 so you see rotation of 90 degrees clockwise with the center 0 comma 0 so basically this is how you describe so you describe the center and the movements so it's a rotation which is a movement 90 degrees rotation how many degrees 90 degrees at the center in the clockwise direction so basically that's how you deal with the, that kind of equation so let us look at d okay so D, D basically leads uh, the matrix one, this matrix maps triangle ABC on two triangle A3, B3, C3. Find the coordinates of A, B3, and Z, C3. Okay. So for us to do that, what we need to do is we need to multiply this by the coordinate of this one to find the new uh, coordinates. So we know that what we've been given is 1, negative 2, 0, then 1. Okay, then if you look at the coordinates, the coordinates of A are these. So we write them, this is A1, which is A, Just this is just A, which is negative 3 comma negative 3 then we have b which is negative 1 comma negative 3 then we have c which is negative 3 comma negative 1 then we multiply that so when you are multiplying the matrix says we use the same principle so it will be basically 1 multiplied by this so it will just be negative 3 plus 0 multiplied by that to be 0 
Okay? Then similarly, negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 will get a negative 1. Multiply plus 0 times 3, we get like this. Then similarly, uh, it will be negative 3 plus 0. Okay, the top part, then the bottom part, we multiply this with all of these. So it will be basically positive 6 minus 3, then it will be uh, plus 2, then a minus 3. Then it will be this one multiplied by that last three, it will be a uh, six minus this one times that minus one. Then simplifying this, we end up with basically a uh, negative three, positive three, then negative one, then negative one, then we have negative three, then five. So this is a three, b three c3 so basically these are the coordinates so well, this is what you are saying a3 is basically negative 3 comma 3 then b is b3 is negative 1 comma negative 1 then c is basically negative 3 comma 5 so basically this is how you answer this kind of a question so we get these three marks then we go to e question e a stretch with the x-axis as the invariant line and scale factor negative 1 maps triangle ABC onto triangle A4B4C4 four 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 with vertices. So these are the vertices. Okay. So assume that there were typos here. So it's supposed to be A4B4 four four like that. Okay. So basically, we're trying to find this matrix that will stretch this function to that. So for us to find this matrix, again, we are going to use the same principle of multiplication. So we are looking for this matrix A, then B, then we have C, then we have D. Okay? Then this matrix, we multiply it. Okay, so I'm applying this matrix by A. So we're applying this A by this matrix to get this matrix okay to get that matrix so we're trying to find that matrix that we're multiplying with so we have negative 3 negative 3 negative 1 negative 3 negative 3 negative 1 and this is a this is b this is c then we are multiplying by we are getting negative 3 positive 3 then negative 1 then positive 3 then negative 3 then positive 1 and this is a4 this is b4 then this is c4 like that so we need to solve for that so what we do is basically what we just do is this one multiplied by that one then this one multiplied by that we had so it will be a minus 3a then minus 3b is basically equal to that so just pick two so it's basically equal to negative 3 which is equation one then it will be again this one if you want to multiply by that one, then this one by that one, so it will be basically uh, negative a, then negative uh, 3b equals basically 2, negative 1, which is equation 2. Then we solve that, so we know that the, the way we can get rid of this is to minus, so it will be negative 3a minus negative a, we get negative 2a, then this is give us 0. 0 is equal to basically negative uh, 2. Okay, so we get negative 2a is equal to negative 2. So a is equal to basically 1. So is equal, a is equal to basically 1. So having known what a is, we can find what b is. So what we get is negative 1 plus 3b is equal to negative or minus. This is a minus, not a plus. So it's a minus b is equal to so negative b three b is equal to basically uh what is a so a is negative so is equal to basically this is a negative remember is basically equal to zero so b is equal to basically zero then similarly you can find c d by multiplying this one with this one so we get negative three c then minus c a 3d is equal to basically 3 which is this bottom then to be 
this multiply by that one to be negative c then this one multiply by that one it will be negative 3d is equal to basically uh again three then the only way you can get rid of this this middle part is to subtract so subtract so we get basically negative uh, 2c is equal to zero so c is equal to nothing but a zero so if you know what c is we can find what uh d is so by substituting there we get minus c minus 3 d so we have zero which is c minus 3 d is equal to 3 so we get negative 3 d is equal to 3 so we divide by negative 3 negative 3 so d is equal to basically negative 1 so hence we know that from here we know what the matrix will be this matrix which will describe the stretch so a is a 1 okay which is this one then b is a 0 so we have a 0 then we have c c is what a 0 0 then we have d is a negative 1 so we have um, this matrix so this is the matrix that is basically describing this stretch